What's happening, everybody? It's your boy JP Givener, and today I'm gonna be attempting the Master Shortcut Challenge, my very own Master Shortcut Challenge. We're getting started right now. The Toad Harbor beginning disc, uh, MT, no BS. Let's do it. I failed it. <laughs> okay, I didn't practice before this, so uh, yeah, zero points, level one. Let's move on to RMC Glider Cut, baby. Alright, so when I played this challenge back before I made the video and uploaded it, I actually had like a little strategy and I'm going to apply it here. So I'm going to be using my Yeehaw for this one so I can afford to clip the off-road in the shortcut. I don't have to make the glider cut perfectly and we'll be vibing. Uh, this is my easy way of getting two points for free. So uh, yeah, we're vibing because I always make this. Yeah, there we go. Another day in the office. Let's go! Okay, got one point there, and I'm also going to use my pipe up, so I'm going to skip the RMC ending disc, and now I'm at two points, we're moving on to level four, the MKS glider disc. Alright, well, I guess because I'm already on level four, I guess I should probably talk about, like, why I'm doing this. Um, so yeah, I wanted to uh, let you guys back in on uh, the shortcut challenge, the shortcut challenge vibes. Because I eventually want to upload a lot of videos around these shortcut challenges. I have an advanced shortcut challenge, a master shortcut challenge. I might even do a more beginner friendly shortcut challenge in the future. That's a possibility. Um, but yeah, I just want to reintroduce you guys to it. Might even do some collabs, you never know. Uh, Glitter Cut, here we go. <laughs> Let's do it. Also, gotta make it the whole way. Cannot land before the finish line. Or at least like you can't land like right here. Boom! Let's go. All right. Three points for your boy. Uh, we're vibing. Moving on to the two pointers. Level five, the big blue gap cut. Let's get it. Okay, so like I was mentioning with the collabs, um, I'm actually going to be uploading my first collab tomorrow, which is going to be really hype. My next collab might be for uh, this shortcut challenge. You never know. We're going to see what happens. That's kind of sus, but uh, let's get the shortcut down. Boom! Let's go. That short is actually a lot easier now that, like, I'm experienced with the shroom cut. So, yeah, we're vibing. I'm not doing the freaking ultra cut of 150. <laughs> okay, a uh, little six. Yoshi circuit beginning disc. It's getting spicy now. I'm going to be getting my 10 coins, of course, you know, before attempting the old shortcut. I'm not really a big fan of uh, doing it with zero coins or, like, really any coin count below 10 coins. It's just not very... It's not a very fun experience. Like, when you have 10 coins, you have the full package, so we're giving her. Uh, guys, if you like this kind of stuff, you know, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to give her. Make sure to keep on giving her. We got 10 coins. Go on lap two. Let's get it. Hopefully, I can get seven points here. That'd be pretty nice. Oh, let's go. Sometimes that shortcut scares me. But we're at 7 points now. We're still giving her. Level 7. I'm not ready for this one, honestly. The Shy Guy Falls ending disc. Mini Turbo, not SMT. Let's get it on. Yeah, that'd actually be so funny if the only shortcut I happened to fail in this challenge was freaking level 1. I don't know what it is. Like, I'm just not, like, that great at the Toad Harbor beginning cut. I, I just don't know what it is. Like, I'm just... I'm not the greatest at it. Like, I can usually make it if I'm, like, playing super sweaty, but, like... <laughs> I, I just thought it was pretty funny to introduce you guys to the video and then uh, just do the shortcut right there So it was kind of like not that serious, but uh, that'd be funny if that was the only shortcut I failed. All right, here we go This one scares me But it doesn't matter cuz we're giving her this game's too easy. Let's go. That's nine points for your boy All right, the three pointers This is where the fun begins level eight the sweet sweet Canyon Ending disc. Let's go. Okay, so going into the three pointers, I still have the two most important power ups being the double inner and the JP given her analysis. Um, but I have plans uh, for those beyond level eight. I'm just going to be testing this head on because if I'm being honest, this used to not be my worst shortcut in this challenge, but now it is. I'm just like super inconsistent at the shortcut, and it's just, it's not a good time. It's not a good time. Yeah, the goal is still to hit 18 points. That's my record, so I'm going to try to beat that. Let's do it. Oh! Yo, we did it! <laughs> I, I was not expecting that at all, dude. That's the shortcut I struggle with. 
<laughs> Let's go! Okay, 12 points going on to level 9. The Grubble Volcano ending disc. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Level 9. This is where things are going to go down. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my strategy going into the last two levels because, I mean, I have a lot of time. So I have 12 points going into the last two levels. I was not expecting that. Like, I'm kind of surprised I filled the Toad Harbor disc, but I'm really surprised that I made the Sweet Sweet Canyon ending disc. Like, I did not see that coming at all. So I have 12 points. My goal is to beat 18. And really, I'm aiming for 21 because... I have to use my double inner, and that will mean that, well, I still have to make both shortcuts. I'm using my double inner here, and I'm going to use my JP Givener analysis on level 10, because I actually feel a lot more confident now on level 10 than I did before. Um, I made this shortcut challenge before I learned an easier method to the Dolphin Shoal Shroomal Sclatter. So, um, with my newfound knowledge, I'm going to try to make it. I actually have been a little more inconsistent at the Shroomal Sclatter more recently, so it's going to make it a bit more interesting. Like, I'm not expecting to make it first try, which is what makes this interesting. I am expecting to make this first try because I feel like I'm really good at the shortcut. Like, my time on Grubble Volcano, which is like a 156.3, I believe, I do the sh I do the ending Shroomal Scott. I do that. Because I vibe with it. Alright, let's do it. Let's go! Let's go! You got this! Oh! Yes! Okay! 18 points for your boy! 18 points for your boy. Okay. 18 points. Whew! Going on to level 10. The Dolphin Shoals Shroomless Glider. Okay, so how this is going to work is I'm just going to potentially use up all my attempts on this one race. So, um, obviously with the JP Givener analysis, if I was, um, if I was collabing with someone or someone else was playing uh, on my channel, I'd give them a tutorial. I don't need to teach myself how to do this, obviously. <laughs> I just need the three tries. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do it on all three laps if needed, and uh, we'll be vibing. Maybe I can make this first try, who knows. But if I make this, that's 21 points, <laughs> and I will have failed level one. Let's do it. <gasps> Let's go! First try, baby! I needed my JP given her analysis for level one. <laughs> I cannot believe that, dude. First freaking try. <laughs> Let's go, dude. 21 points. 21 out of the possible 22 points you can get in the shortcut challenge. And I freaking did it. This is by far my personal best. I've never done this well in the shortcut challenge, ever. Again, like I said, the best I've gotten is 18. I hit that on level 9, and I usually do hit that on level 9, um, if I'm able to, because I used to use my JP Givener analysis on level 8, and this was before I learned the easier method of the Dolphin Shoals Glider, but straight up, I've been so much more inconsistent with it, like, I would casually do it for fun when I would be working on my thumbnails on Dolphin Shoals, and I would fail it all the time, and I never knew why, I was getting, actually getting pretty frustrated, but yeah, making it now, and probably the best time ever, awesome man it's awesome i might make a more extreme shortcut challenge now that i've learned about more like crazy crazy shortcuts in this game because i had a i had rather limited knowledge on the shortcuts in this game when i made this challenge i did not know about any of them like i didn't know about the big blue ultra cut i didn't know you could do the gap cut on level 5 shroomless i didn't know you could do like a bunch of cool shortcuts on cheese land yoshi valley sherbet land whatever the case may be i never knew about any of those so there is a chance that I could make a more refined shortcut challenge, and maybe even for, like, beginner, intermediate, advanced, and a new master shortcut challenge is a possibility. But anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, stay tuned for the future, because there's a very good chance you can see more shortcut challenges on this channel, whether it be me attempting a more insane master shortcut challenge, or someone else attempting any shorter challenge you never know we're gonna see in the future and i think it'd be a lot of fun so until next time thank you so much for watching have yourselves a fantastic day and keep on giving her bud